Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to install this unique ditch light bracket. So now we're 2022 Toyota 4Runner. Let's go. All right, so this ditch light brackets are not our traditional ditch light brackets that we put on the hood. These were actually mounted uh, under the side view mirrors. So this will be sandwiched up on the plate uh, by the side mirror. So yeah, these are from Ronin Metalworks. I'm gonna put the link in the description below if you're interested. They sell different uh, ditch light brackets, uh, different application. And these are for the fifth gen Forerunner. Uh, I think they also sell one for the fourth gen. They have some for some Lexus uh, GX available also. So we're just gonna install this. I'm not gonna put any lights yet. We're just gonna, gonna install the bracket. Okay, these are nicely made. Uh, they cannot make it any thicker though. Uh, I wish they're a little thicker, but you have to sandwich this one up to the actual side mirror mount. Yeah, but these are pretty sturdy, uh, the metal on it. I hope it, they won't uh, vibrate that much. So yeah, powder coated already. Again, nice finish. Let's proceed. All right, so as you can see, I have a ditch light bracket in here. I have some CBI uh, ditch light bracket in here, which makes it nice. It sits out basically closer to the A pillar, but we're going to install this. This will be positioned under the actual side mirror and the ditch light. You can use an S2, S1. Yeah, so again, single uh, light pod, the SSC1, the Baja Design, or the SSC2, or the Baja Design counterpart you can place it in there. If you put the Squadron Pro or SSC3, I think those are a little big. So what we're gonna do is we will remove the cover uh, inside, which I'm gonna show you. So we need to remove this. Basically just pry it out, unclip it, then we'll have access to the bolt. And then we have to remove the screws and then sandwich the plate out i'll show you let's proceed all right so for this we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket just don't lose it Right, so I'm just gonna unscrew it, unbolt it. All right, so I'm just gonna unbolt it manually in my hand. All right, so two bolts are out. We still need to loosen the third one so that we can fully remove the actual side mirror so everything is removed all we need to do is is slide this one in here and match it with the hole all right so just sandwich that in there now we just need to put the bolts back into their respective holes and we're gonna tighten them all right so there you have it you can still fold your side mirrors and yep so i'm planning on mounting uh some ssc1 uh, from diadynamics on this one so yeah, so watch out for that and 
check how I'm, how I'm gonna wire them. Again, I'm still thinking how I'm gonna wire them. Uh, if I'm gonna just gun it, basically just uh, running the cable in here, or probably I'm gonna find a way inside the fender to the uh, hood, to my switch panel in there. So I don't know yet. But again, we have a lot of options. There's a hole in here probably that we can route our cable uh, in there and just run it here and inside. So that's one thing. So again, just do the same thing on the other end. Again, very simple. They're not really, uh, yeah, they're still low profile. You can see, still nice. All right. Again, if you want to purchase the same, I'll put the link in the description below. And if you find this video helpful, please consider in subscribing. Thank you for watching.